Well, today we are here uh, camping. What is it called? Uh, Chimney Creek. It's a really nice area, and we have this. Uh, next to our campsite, we can see there's a hiking trail. We do a lot of uh, rock scrambling. Well, look at here. We have a very interesting blue feather that I found. Maybe it's a blue jay, I assume. Looks really neat. I wonder if I if I can use it for decoration. I don't know. It is kinda neat. At least it matches my more knife. <laughs> so I don't know, I think I might have I might leave it there. Looks looks cool. So this is my campsite that we just got here and we're gonna start setting up. We barely there yet. <laughs> uh, but it's really nice, really nice day. I'm gonna start chopping some wood. And there's my wife and son. Hello! So we're gonna start chopping for tonight. It's gonna get cold, 30 degrees I think. So as you can see, I did a modification to my gazebo tent. I bought a stove jack and sew it on it. And so now I'm able to have a hot tent and it's been really working well for all kinds of things, you know, like cooking. And this morning we, we did some breakfast on the stove. We did bacon and some eggs. Really nice to have that. And you can see the pipe is running down. I believe it's five inches. And I also got a fan to create some uh, air circulation. And so it's helping to keep it toasty in here. So I'm really I'm really pleased. So this is the Alpine stove unit itself. It comes with four detachable legs. Uh, you can use, I think these are some wing nuts to adjust them. So the legs, four, they're detachable. Also the side, um, this little grill but it's not a grill actually but they are also detachable uh, plenty of area for cooking as you can see my hand you can easily feed like two skillets and in terms of the pipe you got one two three four five this one is the first one that goes on top of the stove there and it has also a it's the flu regulator 
which goes all the way in there. And then for the top of the pipe goes this spark arrester. To be honest, it was a little bit difficult to put the pipes together, uh, especially the spark arrester, but I was able to do it. And it worked wonderfully during my two days here. I have no complaints. What else? This is the compartment right there. You can easily store all of this uh, inside, including the legs. Everything can be stored inside of it. So it's a really nice unit. It's a big one. All right, so in summary, would, would I recommend this uh, Alpine stove? Yes, if you're looking something that is gonna be, number one, heavy duty, and it's gonna last a lifetime, and if you're looking something that is gonna perform really well, uh, so then the Alpine stove is the product to go for. So the pros, the pros were that the heat was sufficient Actually, a couple of times I had to open the gazebo just to let the hot air a little bit uh, get out. And so, uh, yes, uh, it, it really performed really well. The cons, it's a little heavy. Also, if you don't install the pipeline really tight, the, the pipe, pipeline will tend to kind of like move around. So I was able to figure out that on the run. Also, another thing on the cons list is that is you're gonna keep all night waking up uh, in order to, you know, feed uh, with, uh, you know, wood to keep you, you know, hot in your tent. So I guess it is expected, right? So you're you're basically adding this stove to you know fulfill your your uh your needs inside of your tent and so if that's going to keep you alive or is that's going to keep you in a in a comfort level in temperature wise then so be it all right guys so that's all that i have to say i hope that this video was really informative if you have more questions, if you have any suggestion at all that you would like to see on my channel, please do so. There's a section below where you can just post your comment. I know that I haven't um, uploaded lately. I apologize for that. I have been in the middle of something. I, I, you know, unfortunately I got COVID for a couple of months ago and other things that happened in my personal life. But, um, if you have any comments please do so on the section below and uh, please subscribe if you made it this far and you're not a subscriber please hit the subscriber button and hit also the notification bell for further uh, notices <laughs> all right guys well i guess this is it i'm out see you guys on the next one and take care